Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today, Dave Gamut is going to tie the Bubble Back Betis Nymph, a simple but very effective fly for fish feeding on emerging Betis Nymphs. This fly is tied on a wet <coughs> fly style hook, a Daiichi 1560. Tie this fly in sizes 14 to 18. We're going to use 70 denier ultra thread tying this particular one with olive, which is our most effective color. We could also do this fly in black or gray. The thread bodied fly, so the, the color thread you choose will determine the color of the body. So we start our thread at the front of the hook, wrap back, so your hook uh, or your thread hangs even with the hook barb. And then we're going to take some pheasant tail fibers, six to eight fibers and tie those in at the back of the hook. Kind of eyeball them for length, switch to your left thumb and forefinger, get a couple wraps to hold them in place, check for length. If they're a little long you can pull them and even them out. And then you're going to wrap forward with your thread, just shy of the hook eye, and you can just tear those off or trim them off with scissors, whichever you prefer. And Next we're going to do the bubble back. The bubble back is made by taking a piece of silver wire, threading it through a glass bead, and then folding over a short tag. We're going to tie in the bead by tying down both the long tag and the short tag of the wire. You want to leave that tag short enough that as you wrap back over the wire towards the back of the hook, you're not left with any excess on the short tag and the long tag is now going to become your ribbing material for the fly. Now, you can adjust the bead so that if you give it a little twist, the hole is facing you as the fly is upright in the vise. Now with a thread bodied fly you can kind of check the taper and, and fill in the body of the fly as you advance back towards the, the hook shank and, and kind of create a nice general gradual taper with your thread. Make sure everything looks nice and smooth and even. And when you get up to the bead, you can leave your thread and rib your fly. Probably going to have spacing for five to six ribs. And then tie off your excess wire. You've tied off your excess wire, trim out the excess. And now we'll build a thorax around the bead. You can tweak the bead so it's, it's standing in the position that you want, which is typically just slightly upright. And now we're going to use some ice dubbing in a UV done color. You could also use a black color if you want a little darker thorax. You don't need a lot of dubbing, but we're going to dub in front and back of the glass bead. So just a small amount of dubbing, you can always add more later. Dave's also building a little bit of dubbing around the wire above. Uh, the hook and in between the hook and the bead just to help that bead stand up a little bit and then using a little bit of pressure to, to help stand that up. Once you've built a nice little thorax up you can go ahead and do a whip finish. Once you've done your whip finish you can trim off your thread And there you have a bubble back beta nymph. Very effective fly tied in sizes 14 to 18. And again, a thread bodied fly that you can use various colors of thread to, you know, make the body color. So it could be all of like this example, brown, black, even gray. But tie some up and they will fool fussy trout. Thanks for watching.